You know, this Sunday we talked about Acts chapter 5, which opens with a very interesting scene of Ananias and Sapphira selling a piece of land, boasting that they're giving such a great gift to this kingdom of God mission of the church, uh, a movement where people gathered in the name of Jesus Christ are sharing the good news of Christ's resurrection with those around them. And in doing so, they lie to God and they lie to the Holy Spirit. They keep back a piece of it. And the issue here is really the lying. They were in full power and control of the land and full power and control of the money. Nobody asked them to give this. They just chose to do it. But they're really doing it out of a boast. They want people to recognize that they are wealthy and good givers and on par with uh, the ultimate of the holiest of people. But of course, they're lying to the Holy Spirit of God who now dwells inside of them thanks to Acts chapter 2 at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit comes and indwells all believers who have come to follow Jesus Christ. And in doing so, um, it causes a huge stir in the community of Jerusalem, not just in the houses of believers, but in the houses of Jews and people everywhere. They're asking questions, who is this God and what is he doing with this group of people? And as they are witness to this, uh, many people are coming to experience healing and wholeness. Uh, the fear that has struck people is really a fear of reverence and, and people are growing. And so the question we're left with pondering this week is what's going on in this pandemic that is similar to what's going on in Acts chapter 5? As things seem like out of control and maybe we don't even have a good explanation uh, for why things happened uh, the way they did. Isn't it interesting how many of us are being sparked and, and, and spurred on and encouraged to experience and explore this God of the Bible? And in the same way as Christians, uh, we're encouraged to grow deeper in our faith, to better know this God and for him to know us. It's an opportunity to reflect this week on how trying things often point us back to God. Now, you may be bold enough to pray this prayer, and if you're not, it's okay. But for those that are ready, I want you to pray this prayer this week. God, I know that the world is in turmoil right now. Would you use me to inspire others with courage, faith, and hope? Would you bring people into my life that I might share my story of hope with? In Jesus' name, amen. That's right. Think of somebody that you can share your story of hope with. I'm not talking about standing on a street corner and beating a gong, what I'm talking about is looking for those God moments. When you begin a conversation with a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, a family member, where somebody wants to talk about the turmoil going on in their life with this pandemic, the uneasiness and unrest, you get to be the hope that people can find in Jesus.